C.S. Lewis has said, God whispers to us in our pleasures, speaks to us in our conscience, and shouts to us in our pain. It says in the Bible, in Matthew 5, verse 4, Blessed are those who mourn, for they shall be comforted. God is with the people that are mourning. And if you're mourning today the loss of a dear one, God is with you. And God will give you strength. God will give you strength to reclaim your life. The saddest thing that I've ever witnessed as a minister is when one partner dies and then the other partner freezes and stops moving and stops living and just waits in a chair to die themselves. This is not what life is meant to be. Life is a God-given gift and we're allowed to have our pain but then we have to, with God's help, reclaim life and start to live again. Life is made up of a series of events. Most, thank goodness, are joyous, but some are sad. And when we face the inevitable disappointments and the heartbreaks that come with living, we do have several choices in our free will. We can deny our heartbreak and pretend that nothing has happened. And when that happens, we often become embittered and we lock ourselves into memories of a broken past. We can give in to our fears. That's another option. And allow an emotional paralysis to become the hallmark of our existence. Or we can accept the reality of the situation and begin to pray. Say, God, I don't know how I'm going to continue on, but give me the strength to continue on and to live my life. Acceptance of a disheartening situation should never be confused with giving in. Far from it. In fact, it's only when we face the reality of the difficult situation that we are truly free to begin to change it and to realize that today is a new day and that I have life in that day today and tomorrow. So if your heart has been broken by a tragedy, either great or small, it is okay to mourn for a while. But then I ask you as a faith-filled person to renew your focus on God and God's promises and get about the business of reclaiming your life.